it's Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with a box. I have my Sacred Space Crate for April 2022 already. I think today's the 31st, isn't it? Today's the 31st, but I've got it for April. Yay! She's been sending these out pretty early, which is super awesome. Um, I'm still waiting on a couple boxes from March. Um, my Witch Casket and my Thera Box, which those I get late anyways, but um, I guess I'm going to get them in April because neither one of them arrived today. So, anyways, hello and welcome if you guys are new to my channel. My name is Lisa and on my channel I like to do uh, lots of witchy things including unboxings. So, let's get into the box. Ugh, I'm sick. Can you guys hear my froggy voice? I've been sick all week. It's really annoying. I don't have time to be sick, right? Um, and I went to the post office to mail some things for my shop. And, um, ugh, it's like 30 some degrees, it's raining, but then it also started having little like, like hail balls. Is that, is that what you, is that the technical term, hail balls? <laughs> they were little bitty though, they weren't, they weren't big balls, they were little balls. So there you go. Anyways, I hate the Midwest. Because like, I think it was summer the other day and now it's winter. Uh, and then my boyfriend sends me a picture of like the weather uh, in one of our places that we're thinking of moving and it was like 74 degrees and I'm like Shh. anyways all right so oh it says sacred love box can you see it says sacred love box right there all right so we got some paperwork on top and of course our theme is sacred love it says it's embedded in our nature to love and have a desire to be loved. Love is a relationship between two energies, whether it be love we receive from our family, friends, and or significant other. For that relationship to be healthy and fulfilling, you must have an even healthier relationship with yourself. Therefore, self-love is the most sacred love in your life. Self-love and alone time are essential. Yes. <laughs> I need some alone time. You must love and appreciate yourself before you can love someone else in a healthy manner. When you treat yourself well and have love, respect, and appreciation for yourself, it sets the tone for how your partner should treat you as well. When you hold yourself in high esteem, you're more likely to choose things that nurture your well-being and serve you well. These things may be in the form of eating healthy, exercising. Why, why are you guys calling me out? <laughs> Or having healthy relationships. I have healthy relationships, but I'm not exercising or really eating healthy. Although I have my banana. I've got first breakfast right here. Uh, but then I also have this. So, yeah, not eating healthy. So, anyways. All right. Yeah, I lost my spot. You express your love for yourself by doing things that help you to show up in life as the best version of you. Practicing self-love will not only improve your physical and mental health, but it will empower you in your practice as well. You will be able to manifest beyond your expectations because you are stronger in your belief in yourself and can see clearly what it is that your heart truly desires. Your spell crafting will improve as well for the same reasons. As you have probably figured out by now is that my theme for this year is all about improvement. Ooh, I love it. Yay. I want to hit on many fa facades in our life that we will improve throughout 2022. Self-love is probably the one I should have started the calendar year with, as it is probably the most important and the ground floor of which to build upon. I challenge you to practice self-love this month. It is never selfish to spend time loving on yourself. Your body, mind, and spirit needs this from you. You are beautiful, so let that beauty shine. The box in, excuse me, the items in this box were curated to give you tools to use this month as you practice self-love. All right, so we will not look at the rest of that. Well, let me grab this. This, this is a naked lady. <laughs> so this is our April calendar. Um, naked lady and some roses. And um, if you guys are not familiar, they give us a calendar every month. And it has like the moons. So it's like moon enters cancer. You get your first quarter full moon. New moon, blah, blah, blah. So, and then on the back it talks about the moon and the zodiac. So um, this is true for everybody. Like... Not your moon sign, but when the moon is in Aries, this is the energy, that type of thing. So there is that. All right. And then we have some heart papers. All right. I need a drink. 
All right. So first off, we have some incense, and it says passion. Hopefully, I can smell it. <laughs> I was so congested. I don't know. I don't know. It's either a subtle smell or I can't smell. <laughs> It's hard. It's hard. I don't know, guys. Let me know. Did you get this box? Is it subtle or is it, or can I just not smell? It's quite possible that I just can't smell. All right. Let's see. Where's the incense? Passion incense sticks. Made with a central fragrance. Oh gosh, I don't think I can smell it because it says the fragrance blend is cinnamon. <laughs> musk and vanilla bean. I feel like I smelled like the m vanilla bean and the musk, but I didn't really smell the cinnamon, but I think it's because I'm stuffed up. All three ingredients are come to me fragrances. Let this wave through your sacred space to light the fire in your passion. Can be used for lighting the passion in love or in motivating you to reach your personal goals. Fabulous. And as soon as I can smell, I'm going to um, light it. I feel like I'm getting worse as we speak. <laughs> All right, and then we have a smoke bundle. Oh my God, I gotta sneeze. Do you, like, I don't know if I'm sick or if it's allergies. I feel like I must be sick because it's been, I've been sick since like Monday. Anyway, all right, it's a smoke bundle with uh, rose petals on top. Of course, I can't smell it. <laughs> um, all right. My eyes are like watering. Okay, sage and rose petal smoke bundle. This beautiful smoke bundle, oh, use this beautiful smoke bundle to cleanse your space and fill it with the magical loving energies of rose petals. The sage bundle is ethically sourced from a farm as all my herbs. Very nice. Oh God. Mostly it's like I'm congested and then I'm like itchy, like right up in my nose is all itchy and then my eyeballs are itchy. That's why I think it's allergies, but I don't know. It's been lingering way too long for it to be allergies. So oh my God, I have like a huge pile of crinkle paper <laughs> over here that I need to convert to a box in the other room. All right. Love potion ritual tea. So we get this guy. Love potion tea after, Ooh, I guess we're doing a bathing ritual. After your bathing ritual, self-love ritual spell, or just after a hard day, or maybe they're just saying as a suggestion, take some time to indulge in this beautiful tea mix full of wonderful loving herbs. I personally mix this blend with rose petals and buds, rose hips, demonia leaf, jasmine buds, chamomile, lavender, passion flower, red raspberry leaf, and a lot of love. Drinking this will get those love juices flowing, so it makes a wonderful... Oh, sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze. Wonderful love spell tea to drink with your significant other or love interest. Just pour eight ounces of boiling water. Blah, 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 blah. Add honey to sweeten the teal. Wink. <laughs> she said wink. I'm like. <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can understand me. I'm like so froggy. Can you guys hit, send me some healing vibes? I need them. <laughs> I don't have time for this shit. My boyfriend is getting us like, um, he just messaged me and said that, uh, we're doing like a ghost tour thing tomorrow. Like we were supposed to go on one a while back and it got, um, it got canceled. And so I guess the guy who put it together in the first place is trying to take like a small group now tomorrow night. And, um, it's somebody that my boyfriend knows. And so he, they invited us and I'm like, shit, like I have to go, but I'm like sicky. All right, so then we've got Rose Hip. Um, this is one of her handmade salves, which I love. And it says anti-aging, dry skin, and skin lightening. Very nice. There's that. All right, let's find our salve. Rose Hip Salve. Oh, my paper's cut off a little bit. This may be... This may be my favorite salve yet. I use it for Crohn's feet around my eyes and on any dry skin patches. I'm gonna put this all over my shit. <laughs> Rose hip salve is wonderful for scarring, wrinkles, and anti-aging. It is also used for cuts, scrapes, baits. What's a bait? B-A-T-E-S, baits. 
dry skin, cuticle, and cracked heels. I added a small amount of a high quality geranium essential oil for its anti-aging benefits. Oh yes. I'm so gonna put this all over. Um, because just as I'm getting older, plus I work night shift, like my shit looks old. <laughs> I'm not loving it. I don't want to get old. I ain't got time for that. I got shit to do. I got goals to reach. You know what I'm saying? All right. And of course, we've got rose hips as our herb. You can see those little guys in there. Very nice. Um, let's see where the rose hips are. Rose, rose hips in herb jar. Rose hips have been used in love magic for centuries. Rose hips are the fruit of wild roses and is widely used in medicine cabinets of witches and or healers. Rich in vitamin C and trace iron among many other healthy nutrients. There are many spells and rituals using rose hips because rose hips boost your love spells or rituals. A common one is to brew a cup of rose hips under the full moon to cast a love spell and beauty. Love spell of, wait, wait. Cast a spell of love and beauty, okay, upon yourself. You can string a rose hip or two on your necklace to attract love. To keep the love in your relationship, share a cup of rose hip tea with honey with your significant other before a romantic evening. Add ginger or cinnamon to spice up your love life as well. I guess we's gonna be drinking some rose hip tea, me and my boyfriend, this weekend. If I feel up to it. <laughs> if there is a lot of negativity surrounding your home, make several charm bags infused with good energy, protection, love, calming, and more. Stash these around your home, around windows and doors, and under furniture to help encourage positivity and loving energy among your family members. My dog will probably eat it if I do that, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Protect yourself and ward away nightmares by putting dried rose hips under your pillow before bed. Decorate an altar dedicated to Venus or Aphrodite by placing rose and rose hips out as an offering. Ugh. Like I keep almost sneezing and then it like stops. Placed dried rose hips in your wallet to attract prosperity and money. Latin, ro Latin rose, that ain't right. Latin name is Rosa Canina. Other names are rose haw or rose hep. Gender fem feminine, planet Venus, element of water. Deities are Hathor, Eros, Cupid, Demeter, Isis, Adonis, ha Hippocrates, Aurora, Aphrodite, and Venus. Powers are beauty, love, peace, attraction, anti-stress, purifying, harmony, friendship, prosperity, fertility, wealth, health, family, confidence, divination, youth, cleansing, and kindness. There you go. All right. Put all my stuff. Okay. Next, we have either an oil or a spray of some sort. Rose water spray. I'm gonna put all my trash. There we go. All right. So we got this guy. I probably won't be able to smell it, but we'll spray it anyway. There it is. <laughs> oh, I can kind of smell it. It smells like rose. Very nice. Okay, it's got like plastic there. Okay, um, rose water spray. Rose water is a go-to, oh my gosh, now I'm gonna sneeze again. Sorry, I'm like not wiping snot, I'm like, my nose is itchy. <laughs> Okay, rose water is a go-to for opening your heart chakra and third eye to a clearer sense of self. It's wonderful and loving to your skin, plus studies have found that rose water and rose essential oil reduces headaches. Oh, great, I need that. Ease anxiety and generally elevate your mood. This is a spray that I included in a box a couple years ago, but I have since improved it, proved it, since improved I have since improved it. I think I'm missing a word in here. It will last longer than a month by adding a bit of grain alcohol and optifin, a natural and safe preservative for cosmetics. 
Made from distilled rose petals, spray your love altar yourself and aura to bring the energies of love into your aura. I did it already. All right. Ah! I can tell what this is. I have um, something similar, but not in this color. I'm so sick of being sick, y'all. It's stupid. I don't have time. I've been working all week. I gotta work tonight. But after tonight, I'm off for six days. So, um, yay. All right. So now we have a goddess candle. She's pink. Isn't she pretty? I'm trying to figure out what's on the side of her. Oh, maybe her clothes are just hanging down. Anyways, she naked. <laughs> oh, fun. I, I have a black one somewhere. I think it's down in my living room. Um, I've never lit it because it's just so pretty. I probably need to put her downstairs too. Oh, let me hold her while we talk. All right. Self-love body candle. Figure or image candles were created to symbolize a person or condition in spiritual workings. Like voodoo dolls or poppets, they use sympathetic magic to aid in spell, can uh, spell casting. Use this candle to represent yourself. Dress it with your perfume, hair strand, write your name on it, or anything that you feel represents yourself. Surround it with herbs that you're drawn to or herbs that represent what you want to manifest. Or just surround with rose hips and or rose petals for magnifying self-love and place it on your altar or sacred space. There are so many ways that you can use this candle in your practice. Here is a self-love ritual that I've included in the Aphrodite box two years ago, but it's so effective that I'm including it here so that you can use it if you're drawn to. Okay, well, I'm not gonna read the spell. I think that you need to um, subscribe to get that type of thing. Um, but there is a self-love spell, fun. Okay, now it appears that we have a bracelet. Let's see, so it's lava stone and, oh, it's kunzite. Oh, fun. So lava stone with the kunzite is the pink, and then it's got like a little infinity. Oh, it is a, um, I was gonna see if it was a stretchy, and it is. All right, let me see if I can get the tag off of here without effing anything up. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Come here. All right. Yay. Can you guys see it? All right. Let me read about it. Do, 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 do. Oh, my nose is itchy. Infinity bracelet. Ugh. It's so itchy. Made with kunzite crystals and lava stones. Kunzite is a beautiful crystal, pure in energy and joyful in nature. In palest pink to light violet hues. I don't have any kunzite, and I've actually talked about kunzite recently to some friends, and um, so I'm really excited. I got some kunzite. Woo! Okay. Um, <clears throat> it is a stone of emotion, opening and connecting the heart to the mind and stimulating a healing communion between the two. Kunzite encourages one to release walls built around the heart for protection and to be receptive to the experience of unconditional and abundant love. Pink kunzite is often called the woman's stone. It is particularly, particularly supportive for a young or first time mother and for all single mothers and assist, uh, and assist human as well as animal mothers who may have a hard time caring for their young. It is a good stone for sleepless babies and overactive children and is an excellent gift for girls entering puberty to help them love their changing bodies. Lava stone is formed from magma erupted from volcanoes. The effect of the stone is like a phoenix rising from the ashes. It is a stone of balance, courage, and strength. It contains the power of fire and works to rekindle the flames of passion in your spirit. You can add your essential oils to lava stones to carry the magic of the oil with you. The infinity symbol is to remind you of the infinite 
love you are giving yourself. If you ever doubt yourself or get down on yourself, just looking at this symbol should remind you to just love yourself, unconditional, giving you the self-confidence to move forward confidently. Sorry, I'm, I'm actually not wiping snot, just so you guys know. It's just, it's itchy. Like, I just wanna scratch my eyeballs and my freaking nose. All right, so then we have a sachet with a crystal. Oh, it's a Super 7. So there's that. I feel like I have a Super 7 somewhere. All right, Super 7, also known as Melody Stone or Sacred Stone, is an extremely rare mineral with seven crystals in one. The crystals are amethyst. Uh, I'm not going to say this right. Cacoxinite? Cacoxinite? I think I got it. I think I got it. Uh, Geothite? Lepidochrosite, rutile, smoky quartz, and quartz, which all the minerals are usually naturally encased in. Super 7 is the key ingredient to accessing the spirit realm and unlocking the knowledge and ancient beings within. The high frequency of this stone helps one attune their energy to that of celestial beings, allowing one to better understand the meaning and purpose of their soul. Super 7 helps provide answers to questions one may have for an entire lifetime, while also ushering in the ability to connect to one's past life experiences. These past life episodes contain ancient knowledge one has been able to carry with them for multiple lifetimes. This unique blend of minerals helps bring this knowledge to the forefront so that it may be unlocked and used in one's current life. Working with Super 7 repeatedly will help expand one con one's consciousness while pushing for complete mental clarity. This stone helps bring the strength of one's mind to the forefront, unlocking it and pushing one to process, it, process lingering thoughts and emotions. Once one is able to begin clearing their mind, they can then begin the journey of channeling the higher knowledge down to an earthy plane. Once this energy is grounded, it can then be used to push one in the direction of their most desired dreams. Very nice. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna put this on my, well, I'm gonna take a picture of it in a minute. So, um, you know, I had talked about that identification app and everybody says it's like shitty for identifying, but I'm actually really excited about it. It's called Rock Identifier because you can take a picture of it and then it asks you a bunch of questions like the size and where you got it and how much it cost you and all that good stuff. Um, so that way you've got a, you know, a digital, um, log of like all your crystals. And so anyways, it's, it's a digital log of your crystals. So, and I'll be like, how much did that cost? Where did I get this? What is that? You know? So there you go. All right. Ooh. Got two more things and something is heavy in there. So it says bath for the goddesses, ritual bath salts. So this big bag that you can't see on the inside. All right. Ah. Mm -hmm. Bath for the goddesses. All right. This bath ritual is an offering for all those beautiful and powerful goddesses that live inside of you. Dense sea salt filled with rose petals, jasmine buds, lavender, and rose essential oil. You are the divine feminine. You are the temple of the goddesses and this earth is a better place because you reside in it. Use this time to empower yourself with self-love and confidence. Before ending your ritual while in the bath, meditate all your stress and negative energies away. Visualize them washing down the drain with the water when you are done. If you don't have a bathtub, then use as a foot soak. Very nice. I'm excited. Uh, put that over there. All right. I forgot to talk about the moon in the zodiac calendar. I thought I saw it somewhere. Moon in the zodiac calendar. This is a monthly calendar that will be included in every month's box. Many of us form a lot of our practices around the cycles of the moon. We do this because the moon controls a lot of energy on earth and within our bodies. It is especially important in understanding that energies, oh, understanding what energies we are surrounded with so we can use this energy accordingly. The artwork on this month's calendar was designed by Samantha Trick, and she is at Schmoozy. 
And then it talks about, um, it's important to note that the moon, oh God. <laughs> the moon in the zodiac explanations on the back of the calendar is not your personal zodiac sign reading. It is an explanation of how the energy from the moon in the zodiac affects everyone's energy, regardless of what your personal zodiac sign is. Therefore, the readings remain the same. Okay. Let's see where the moon is, because I'm not really sure. All right, it is in Aries. No, that's the sun. Wait, is the sun and the moon in Aries? It must be. What is today, the 31st? I guess it, it enter. it's Pisces, and then it enters Aries at some point. I wonder if it says on here. No. Okay, the new, oh, the new moon in Aries is tomorrow. Oh shit, the new moon's tomorrow. <laughs> um, yes, well, actually it's a new moon right now. You can't even hardly see that, can you? I use, um, I guess it's just called the moon is the app that I use um, for my moon. But anyways, I guess it's a new moon in Aries tomorrow. So when the moon is in Aries, so I'm going to read the back of this. So it says, um, this is a time that you will be motivated to start something new. Start an exercise program. Stop it. Or a short term project. I'm telling you, the universe is like, hey. You know, my boyfriend's like, maybe you're sick because you don't eat healthy and you're not working out. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> like, seriously, I used to work out like five to six days a week, like lift weights. I know I don't, I'm not like a brute or anything, but um, that was my, my, uh, my workout of choice is weightlifting. But after I broke my foot and then I got tennis elbow, I'm like, what the hell do I do? Like, I don't want to, I hate cardio so much. Okay. Our last item. It is a bottle. Is there anything in the bottom? So there's like a sleeve on here. Yes. It is a crystal elixir bottle. I have one of these, but mine is smaller. So I believe that you can change out the crystals. Yes, ma'am. So you can unscrew this and change out the crystals. So if you want um, to have a different elixir, um, and by the way, I sell some black tourmaline, like small crystals. They're a little bigger than these. Um, these are quite small, but um, they would be perfect for something like this. Um, so, or I, I, I market them as like grid crystals because they're pretty small, but it's got a handle. Okay, let's read about it. Yay! I love it. It, it, again, it's trying to tell me I need to drink more water. <laughs> Bamboo crystal water bottle. Many of us carry a water bottle around all day, especially when we are working to improve our health. All right. All right. I wanted to include an item that will not only remind you to love yourself daily, but is useful to use outside of your practice as well. Your drinking water will be charged with the crystals in the bottom chamber. You can change your crystals as you please, but I filled them with rose quartz to remind you to focus on self-love this month. Perfect for making full moon water, but remember that you can make moon water during any phase of the moon. This bottle is made from real bamboo and glass. Yes, it's glass. The bottle comes with its own protective koozie for its own safety. Make sure you wash your bottle and let it air dry. Okay, very nice. Ah! It's so pretty. So what is your favorite item? Duh, the bamboo rose quartz bottle thing. Telling me to drink more water and shit. <laughs> but again, like I'm always excited about her um, salves and like her, um, her little potions and shiz. They're always so great. So that is it, guys. Let's see if she says anything about what next month's box is going to be. She does. I hope that you will take on my challenge to use every item in this box this month in your self-love rituals. Yes, this weekend, Mama is going to do some self-love. Um, may you come out of April a more confident woman, man, and standing in your power. Next month's theme is New Moon. 
I am very excited about this box and have been well my um things stopped recording again like always I don't know why it gets mad if I record for a certain amount of time I guess it thinks that I'm not recording and it's like I'm gonna shut off I don't know anyways I don't know what you missed but I just said that um next month's theme is the new moon um, and so that sounds super exciting. Cannot wait to get it. So what do you guys think? I'd love to hear in the comments below what your favorite item is. I already said my favorite is this um, bamboo uh, water bottle. And I would love if you guys would give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. It really helps out my channel. And if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you guys are a current subscribers, thank you so much. Stay tuned when I hit a thousand subscribers, guys. Again, I'm going to do a um, giveaway. I'm not going to give away anything in this box because I'm sick and I'm touching it all. <laughs> so that would be really mean and awful of me to do. So. Um, but I always have really great things for you guys. So don't worry. You'll get some awesome shiz. Uh, tell your friends. Okay. <laughs> and I will link last month's Sacred Space Crate right here for you guys to check out. And until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.